stop the Union fleet from coming in. At dawn, August 5, 1864, Admiral David Farragut would lead 18 Union warships into Mobile Bay. The Tecumseh was the lead monitor in the line coming in, and she fired the first round of the Battle of Mobile Bay. That shot, a 15-inch projectile, uh, exploded at the base of the Mobile Point Lighthouse. The second shell exploded over the fort. Farragut would be blasted by the guns of Fort Morgan. As the ships come in, the monitors are leading the way. Hartford is behind the Brooklyn. Farragut's um, idea was, was to send out those four ironclads first and to park themselves in front of those water batteries and to uh, try and keep their guns suppressed while he got his uh, 14 wooden ships into the bay. Once inside the bay, he must fight the Confederate naval fleet commanded by Admiral Franklin Buchanan. They had served together in the U.S. Navy for more than 45 years. This day, they would fight each other, a Southerner leading the North and a Northerner leading the South. The Confederacy needed to make certain that blockade-running supply ships could continue to deliver war goods to the port of Mobile, Alabama, the last remaining Confederate port on the Gulf of Mexico. The Union had to cut the supply of war goods arriving from the Caribbean. 1864 had been tough for the Union. Its citizens were war-weary. Abraham Lincoln's re-election was in serious jeopardy. The Confederacy was gaining legitimacy. Each side needed a clear-cut victory. The outcome of the Battle of Mobile Bay would define the direction of the country's future. I am Julia Scriven Henson. I was born and raised right here in Mobile, Alabama. Franklin Buchanan was my great-great-grandfather.